This is going to be another statics video. And in this video, I'm going to be covering a centroid example of a composite body. This is going to be example 9-61 from the 14th edition of the statics book by Hibbler. So we have a question that asks, determine the location Y bar of the centroid C of the beam having the cross-sectional area shown. So to start this problem, let us recall the formula for finding Y bar for composite bodies. So that's going to be Y bar is equal to the sum of Y tilde times area, all divided by the sum of the areas. Now from here, I'm going to define a coordinate system with its origin being at the top of the body, collinear to the point C labeled in the figure. So we have our x-axis pointing to the right, and we have our y-axis going down. The reason for this is because the figure is defining y-bar as the distance from the top of the body downward. To proceed with this problem, we're going to have to break up this body into multiple smaller bodies with easier geometries. Let's call this one. Let's call this body two. Let's call this body three. So I'm going to draw off to the side here those three bodies. Okay. What we're going to have to do here is we're going to have to find the centroid of each of these three individual geometries in order to find the centroid of the composite body. So one thing I like to do is draw out a table. I'll go ahead and draw that to the side here. I like to store my values in the table because it makes it easier to keep track of our y tildes and our areas for each shape. So now that we have our table set up, let's go ahead and find these centroids. Let's focus on body number one first. Since this is a rectangle, we know the centroid is going to be half the distance from each end. So approximately right there, call that C1. Since we're only solving for y bar, that means we only need to look at the perpendicular distance from the x-axis to the centroid. In this case, since the height is 15 millimeters, the centroid will be 7.5 millimeters away from the x-axis. So this is 15. So let's go ahead and write that in our table here. And the area of this body is just 15 millimeters times 150 millimeters, since this length here is 150 millimeters. So that, mean, that means the overall area is going to be 2,250 millimeters squared. So if we multiply our y tilde by our area, we get a value of 16,875 cubic millimeters. Okay, let's move on to body number two now. We'll follow the same process as before, only dealing with our y tilde. We know the centroid is going to be half the height of the body. Since our body has a height of 150 millimeters, the centroid will be 75 millimeters from the top of the body. So we're not done yet though. Don't forget that our y tilde is the distance with respect to the origin from our coordinate system. This means that our y tilde is going to be 75 millimeters plus the distance from the top of the body to our defined origin. And that distance right there is 15 millimeters. So our y tilde for our body two is actually 90 millimeters because of 15 plus 75 millimeters. So let's write that off to the side here. And the area of body two is going to be 15 millimeters times 150 millimeters, which equals 2,250 millimeters squared as well.
So if we multiply our white tilde out by our area, we get a value of 202,500 millimeters cubed. Finally, looking at body three here, we're gonna follow the same steps. The centroid will be half of our height. So that'll be right there. Call that C3. Since the height of the body is 15 millimeters, we'll have a centroid that is seven and a half millimeters from the top of the body. Now, similar to body two, we need to find the distance from the top of the body to the x-axis. Looking at our diagram here, we can see that it is going to be 15 millimeters plus 150 millimeters. So that means that distance is going to be 165 millimeters. That means that our Y tilde for our body three is going to be 165 plus 7.5 millimeters, meaning that it's going to be 172.5 millimeters. And our area is just going to be 15 millimeters times 100 millimeters. which means that our area is going to be 1,500 millimeters squared. Okay, and then our Y tilde times A is going to be 258,750 millimeters cubed. Now from here, we look at our formula here. So we're gonna have to take the sub off our Y tilde times A. So what I'll do down here is I'll write sum. So we'll sum our A's first. So that's gonna be 2,250 plus 2,250 plus 1,500 which is going to equal 6,000 square millimeters. And then the sum of our Y tilde times A is going to be 16,875 plus 202,500 plus 258,750, which gives us 478,125 millimeters to the third. Now from here, we know y bar is just the sum of y tilde times a divided by the sum of a. So that means y bar is simply going to be 478,125 millimeters to the third divided by 6,000 millimeters to the third. So that means our y bar is approximately 79. 0.6875 millimeters. So that is our final answer.